Welcome to the Health, Wealth, and Happiness Show. I'm your host, Patricia Martin. Welcome to the Health, Wealth, and Happiness Show. And uh, my name is Patricia Martin. This is Gary Hoffman. Gary does it a lot of, is it Qigong? Is it Qigong? Qigong. Qigong. Always Qigong. Correct me, always <laughs> wrong. Qigong yeah. master, and now you're a musician. What all do you do? I mean, you do the sacred geometry, you do well, all I, kinds of fantastic, yeah, interesting Yeah, I, I do a lot of space clearing for, for people and work on their And uh, to, tell property. our audience what space clearing is. Okay. Exactly. I know what you're talking about, but yeah. some people might not know. Well, a lot of people know space clearing is, you know, um, coming into the mm -hmm. home and and using sage and and sound to clear out old energies or maybe they've had a, a death in the family or they've had a uh, they've had uh, some kind of bad relationship and a person has moved out and they want mm. to clear their space and get that sort of get that energy out of the out of the space so a lot of people no, space clearing is just the simple process of going and using sage and sounds and maybe bringing in some chimes or some kind of sacred sound and uh, saying some prayers and blessings to sort of move the old energy out of a space or somebody's apartment. Um, that's what a lot of people know, you know, space clearing mm -hmm. as. But when I talk about space clearing, I'm talking about uh, harmonically uh, looking at the land and the house and and what energies are affecting the home not just maybe the fact that there's old energy in, in somebody's home and it needs to be moved or something like that but uh, maybe there's problems in in the land there can be environmental problems in the land there can be um, what's called geopathic grids that run through the, the space of the house or the apartment that run maybe every eight to ten feet apart. And you can't pick these grids up, they're energetic grids, but you can only pick them up with, like with a dowsing run. And I'm, I'm a dowser, so I've been dowsing since the late 90s. And the grids pick up energy, collect energy, and a lot of them pick up electricity and other energies that can be toxic to the human body. I remember years yeah. ago, and I'm trying to remember where, they asked you to go someplace exotic mm -hmm. to, it was like, was it Egypt or, where did you go? Yeah, I've, been to, I've been to Egypt, I've been to Israel, I've been to England. And, and it know, was specifically that, that, to do your work? That was in Israel, yes. Was it in Israel? Yeah, in Israel okay. where I went, yeah, I went to, to um, a city close to Jerusalem, and then we went to Jerusalem. And spent some time there. I remember I purchased something that you had done my house in West Mead, and I purchased something that went under my bed. And I don't remember what it was, but I, I lost it in a move, and I was like, "Oh, you know." <laughs> yeah. What was that? Do you call well, that, that that was a device to help balance those geopathic <clears throat> grids, so that when you were sleeping in your bed bedroom there, it would yeah, it would keep the um, grids from energetically affecting you while you're sleeping. Hmm. Uh, so you do this I've now? I've used a lot of different devices, you know, and that was just one mm -hmm. I was using at the time. I don't use that one anymore, but I, So this is like earth, what is it called, earthing or ground? It's, it's, is that part of it? Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a term of uh, earth acupuncture is a term that's used uh -huh. uh, in it where you can actually go in and put some uh, copper rods or crystals or whatever into the ground to to uh, to block or rearrange the energy in the, a, a grid line or an underground water stream. Underground water streams are not good for your health because if you're sleeping in those areas, you're sleeping over an underground water stream, then you're going to have some you're going to have some problems with. Um, because of it, you've got the flowing water under you, so it's it's pulling on your on your adrenal glands and different things. In your so body. that's a feng shui thing as well, is that? Yeah, I would call that part of feng shui. You know, feng shui is a big can be a big term that's used for uh, not just creating a beautiful flow of energy in the home, you know, by arranging the colors and 
arranging the furniture and and the flow, you know, and opening the space up and getting rid of all your old clutter and stuff like that. I mean, but I, you know, I would turn feng shui as going into uh, rearranging the the energy flows of the land as well, you know, uh, because that can affect you physically, you know. So that's. And is that how? But did that develop into the qigong? Qigong, qigong. Well, it was, yeah, in a way it did. I, I, I got into the dowsing and the energy work of the land first and so forth. So the Qigong came along uh, and I started studying that in 2006. Would you explain to our viewers exactly what that is, what it can do for you about your classes? Okay, well, uh, Qigong, Qigong is a part of traditional Chinese medicine. There's four branches of traditional Chinese medicine, and uh, what is known as medical qigong is one of the four branches. Now, qigong is... And that's what you're doing, medical? Medical qigong. That's what I've been trained in. That's what I'm right. certified in. Uh, <clears throat> qigong uh, includes exercises, and everybody's... A lot of people have seen the qigong exercises. Um, where you would do different movements to move the energy in the body. Mm -hmm. uh, when I do a medical Qigong session, I actually have somebody laying on, on a massage table. Mm -hmm. And I use certain, what we call Qigong protocols, to move the energy in the body. So I work a little bit like an acupuncture, so I may, you know, push on a, mm -hmm. put pressure on an acupuncture point somewhere on your body. Mm -hmm. and uh, to like open up the channels because you have all of these, give me your hands just a minute, you have all these energy meridians that run through the arms and the legs and they attach to the internal organs. So uh, there's acupuncture points all along those meridians. So when you see those acup acupuncturists puts that needle in, you know, mm -hmm. he's putting it directly into that meridian at a certain point to either release energy that's what they call stuck or stagnant or he's trying to open it up and put more good vibrant energy or chi into it and that's basically what I do but I use my fingers and then I'm trained to move the energy actually with my hands. That is so cool. So you move so I might be moving the chi or the old stagnant chi out of the body if your if your meridian flows get, get uh, what we call stagnant chi in them, then you need to move that stagnant chi out, out of that organ and out of the meridian and then put good vibrant energy back in. Do you have any testimonials or have you seen improved health within yourself? I've definitely seen improved health in myself, but that's for sure because that's why I started Qigong was because I had a ruptured disc. Really? Yeah. I remember when you had the corporate yeah. job yeah. and Gary didn't look like this when he had the corporate <laughs> job. He uh, you just look kind of yeah. sad, and yeah, now you're vibrant and yeah. healthy. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. do you have a ruptured disc? What level? Is that cervical or lower back? Or? It was like in down L2, uh -huh. L3 uh -huh. area, and um, I had a, a real horrendous surgery, and uh, and about six months later, after the operation, all the pain started coming back into, well. into the. Did they yeah. do a laminectomy? I mean, and they wanted to just fuse. They wanted to do another operation and fuse. And I had sciatica really bad in my right leg and all that. So all that pain started coming back and I just kind of went, yeah. you know, I'm going to find a way to take care of myself Good for and heal you. my body, my own body. And that's kind of what led me. I was looking for something to help me naturally take care of myself. And I ran into J. Michael Wood. Yes and started taking classes with Jay Michael, uh, who was my teacher. And um, and this is medical Qigong, right? It's medical Qigong. And uh, medical Qigong speaking of medical, is there, uh, I know that there's demonstrations, and I mean, I know as, as a martial artist and everything, that Qi exists. Is there a scientific, is there any studies that have been done, or scientific proof or something that you can point to that, you know, says scientifically that, that this energy exists? I bet you could with thermography. I bet if you do a, did a thermographic image, yeah. Yeah. you could definitely see the see flow of energy, a change energy, in yeah. energy levels. I'm sure right. you could. Yeah. I was 
trained to do breast thermography, and I'm, I'm quite sure that mm -hmm. that that would be right. a really neat thing to do. I think you need somebody to demonstrate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we should move the table into the, the we camera could. into do the you massage want to? Do you want to do a little demo? Well, we We're just really putting Gary Hall on the spot like crazy. <laughs> I appreciate that. Say no. We've done William Henry today, we've done Lucas today, and now we're doing a, a show with you, so we're just doing all kinds of fun shows. And, uh, yeah. and, and this was not planned, so we appreciate you putting you on the spot. So if we bring a massage table in, which I have one just in the other room, mm -hmm. could we do a little demo on um, sure. Lucas? Well, we could just take the camera in there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just move the show. Okay. Go ahead. I'll okay. follow you and turn on the light. And... Well, let's go. Okay. There we go. Whoa. Lucas, you want to be the... I think he does. I think he does. He said that sounded good to me. <laughs> yeah. Let's put this light on. Okay. There go. Get rid of them. Come on, Joe. Alright. I don't get you got anything that's bugging you. Oh, lower back. Do you want to come from this direction, Tony? Or which which would be the best direction to come from? Let me get where I'm or facing Gary here. so I can Sorry. see what he says and says. Mom is done. <laughs> okay. I need to get over there. What's the best direction, Gary? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a little bit. It's a little bit dark. light, but a little light. bit dark in areas. Um, you need to you need turn the more lights on. Yeah, yeah, so for the camera. This is a medical. Oh, you're screwing it. You're taking it out. I was yeah, because I'm going to have to put another one in, replace yeah. that bulb. Okay. You got one? Well, I'm just going to put a normal bulb in. Okay. Hope I don't. That'll work. I can find one. All right. It's not on. Too bad we don't have a thermal camera. You know, that would be interesting. No. It's so going to hit you from here. You got here. some low back issues? Uh, okay. Lower back, yeah. Always tension in the neck. Pam and myself have been trading massages. Like what we're doing? Yeah, I think you need a pointer and a graph at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so uh, Gary has offered to uh, do Shut a little <laughs> demonstration, and uh, Gary can be found at HarmonicSpaces.net. It's his website, yeah. and that's here in Nashville. And, uh, and you can reach me at uh, 877-705-4865. And we'll have that on the bottom of the screen, too. So, great. Awesome. Well, let's, will you explain as you go along what you're doing? Is that a, can you talk as you're working? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we can, so you got, uh, Lucas here's got some low, low back issues. Where else have you got some, some problems in your Lots of tension in the shoulders. In the shoulders? You know, that neck yeah. area. Plus I also, actually, the one you can really work on is my right elbow. Okay. Because that's the one that well, I painted a 2,800 square foot house and uh, my elbow's never been the same. Mm -hmm. So I'm just sort of massaging a couple of points, acupressure points, um, that may affect, affect him in a positive way. Um, the liver channel that's a, that's attached to the liver runs um, down to the, the big toe here and runs back up through the inner side of, inner side of the leg up that direction back up towards where the liver is in the body and um, and there's a kidney one, uh, points for the kidneys here at the bottom of the, in the ball of his foot would those be tender? Are, good to are those tender at all? Yeah. Would, should so you they just tell me if you hit if you got any of these points are tender. Well, or painful, is that what you mean? Painful. It can be painful. Yeah, I'm doing fine. Are those tender? Those are a little tender. Yeah. You know, I know. 
those are good points for helping with rel um, relieving headache. Right in there, you just kind of go up with your fingers right into that area and massage that. Those areas there, and just kind of. Are there, is there a sinus part on your feet too, as opposed to above your eyes? Um, that would probably be more in the long meridian. So, if I was working on him, we would run through, the protocols would run through of going to different, affecting different organs. Um, here, I would probably start a little bit of work around his head. These are urinary bladder points right here above the eye. So it's a the little gone bladder points right here on the side of the head. Trying to to bring chi and her energy into my body and to project it out through my hands or my fingertips. And then the, there's a point right here at the top of the head called the byway point that attaches to what they call the governing channel. It runs down the spine in the back and, and there's a conception channel that runs down the front of the body right here. And this um, point right there opens up the energy from the top of the head and affects the flow of the energy down through the body. <coughs> um, so I just want to let me just do this from this side because since we've got so much demonstrated from over here, since we don't have our space is a little bit. So I'm just going to move some energy around this long meridian and see if that helps his lungs a little bit. So I'm just putting some pressure on this point here along along one that will allow the energy to flow in and out of the lungs a little bit and just bring some chi into the lung area there shoulders, aren't you? So I'm just going to can move some of that chi that's in that upper part of that right lung and into the shoulder area a little bit. So my hands. And we'll affect the chi flow or the chi from the uh, area down here around the large intestine area. This is large intestine 4 here. It's a good area to massage. Helps with headaches. Feel that? Oh, he's right in there. Yeah. 
sore right there. Yeah, I painted the last two days for about eight hours a day. So this right hand, arm, everything's like raw. Mm -hmm. large intestine and the triple burner channel here. Go ahead and open up the heart channel here on the ends of the fingers. There's a lot of small intestine attaches here. large intestine channel here. We're going to move some chi up in the, out of the large intestine area. So Gary, you mentioned about your surgery and everything. You mm -hmm. decided to do something. You evidently you look. You have no problem with your lower back now. Well, I have to keep doing. I have to do my qigong exercises every day. I have to. I do also do some yoga. Uh -huh. and some, you know, stretches for my spine. As long as I do those, I'm in. You know, I'm staying in good shape. Great. Once you have a, a back <coughs> injury, you have to just. You got to take care of it. Right. You know, it does it's something that. Anybody, anybody that's had a back injury knows that. So, you know, I would suggest anybody, you know, find Qigong or yoga or a combination of the two, Tai Chi maybe, and get into some regular movement every day with those types of systems. You know, uh, you could be doing Qigong exercises, you could be doing Tai Chi. I would suggest that you find a, you know, a, some simple uh, yoga routines that work well for for keeping the, the energy flow and the strength in the spine and you know align properly because it makes a difference. And um, I would suggest that for anybody, but particularly if you've got a back, if you've had back injury, you got to take care of your back because once you have the back injury. If you don't keep the movement, if you don't keep the spine line, if you don't keep the energy flowing, I'm doing my sessions out of there. Oh, good. And then I can open up that room to where I can do exercise classes and everything up there. Awesome. Yeah. So what were you feeling there, Lucas? I'm feeling like I need more time on the table. <laughs> yeah. He's liking it. You were liking it, huh? Get the drink. Yeah, it's what? actually... Uh, relaxing and relieving simultaneously so, cool but like i said i don't ever stop so yeah. any chance that i get the lay down well if we were doing a full session i would go into a lot more uh detail and and here i was a little bit cramped and getting around the table and stuff and he was filming it and all that stuff but you know i would go into the more depth and we'd set up some energy kind of energy zone around you to, yeah. yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I, I attach in spiritually with, with, with you and mm -hmm. your yeah. guidance or however you want to call that. And yeah, I'm pretty make sure that we're all kind of working together to, to get you in better shape. So. Yeah, I don't have any problem surrendering to yeah. any stuff that helps me in any yeah. way. Yeah. 
Hence the massages with Pam. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you again. Yeah. Well, a much pleasanter circumstance. So stand out, let me show you this chicken. Yeah. This is the one for the liver. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I want you to stand, be kind of um, hip width apart. Mm-hmm. Kind of relax a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring we're gonna bring some energy or some chi into the liver area here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll do that with our hands op out open and I want you to just visualize a deep and then blue green color. Okay. And wow. Just see that filling the liver right here, okay, on your in breath, okay? I'm just kind of describing it to you right now. Okay. And on the out breath, we'll bring the hands out and we're gonna make the sound that I used on you. So we're gonna like, okay, fill with blue green energy. And the out breath, we're gonna go. Mm. See all that stagnation leaving the liver, blue green energy filling. Mm. So you're gonna do you do nine of those. Okay. And that's it. That's bringing it in and letting it out. And the sound is it's like a G U O O O. So it's like woo. Put okay. some energy into it. Woo. It's a descending tone designed to draw out the stagnation. Okay. Okay. Same time next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just amazed, all you multi-talented men. This is just incredible. <laughs> I just really thank you so much for being welcome. on Health, Wealth, and Happiness show.